Dumelang. A thought-provoking Tswana proverb proclaims, to give away is to make provision for the future. Ponder on this for a moment and let's be thankful for the lives that we've lived. Today's show is set in South Africa's northernmost province, Limpopo, and we have some real gems lined up for you. Mr. Maladzi is a trained geologist, but swapped this life for one in cleaning toilets. It sounds bizarre, but wait till you see his story. Abo Maladzi ndi mutu oguda ukuma abana ndivo na zvuto zvine vaamba ngazo zva sanitation na mati wo mura wo dzivadzi va mishumo yavo mara zvine ndavatamera zvone ndi zvori ngave vachifuwa ndebe pano Africa chipembe vana pinduro nji nga ataidzo dza mati na taidzo dza chambungana Dzina langa ndi patwa ni Trevor Murawudzi. Ndi mudedezi University ya Limpopo. Ndi fudza ka department ya Water and Sanitation. Uri nezwe na fudza sa zone ndi Sustainable Sanitation and Water Management. Gama fungo uri, vatu vahashu wa kushengi ranga problem. Na taizo ya mabunga, na madi ya rina mashika. Or general machine and pollution in the air with one of the sewage plant in Sashumio. No, no trainer as a geologist, Feds University, and a completed degree younger than 1990. No, I should have said, I should have seen my mind. You are free in South Africa, but you still got problems with toilets. There is no hand washing facility. Mara nga 1996, ndi mshumo ni ndi kuchimbira lokesheni ya kutsomu. Ndabona vana wachikoro, wachitaratani. Ndabona uri, ah, vana nga chifinga cha chikoro. Why have us your classroom on? Ndaima, ndasagoroini, ndayakavo. We don't toilet. toilet tavern. Avajene <laughs> the <laughs> Why is this a Mushumuanga. Number the end of the Chamain, the Chamacher number the resign. And then that the training, Yaru Uklinas or Shishani, that would to Mushmo not in Ampo. Ms. Gorbunu, we must start it from early childhood development. Nda. Riyazi kareshe, bana wa funziwe, hygiene. Ere la mkare wa rashidi. Ngudamtakaro. 
zino kabo murawo dziro vari kutoda dzipinduro kana dzisolution kure ringa ono eradicate hani eh, backlog ine ravana yo kamadi na ukona utusa vathu uri vakono diva nga sanitation na dzita idzo dzayo zvithu zva chamupunga ane kana zvithu zva dzi toilet vathu vanji vajia zvithu zva pasi vukoma mara bo murawo dzivo ditukupadza vadine ya chifinga vaguda nonyago anza za ndivo ngazi tuza ono yela na nazi toiletri na madi na chika ya mupo na ukono rebatu wakono ditogomela zuchi yela na namutaka rovavo. Ndo daya vanga 2014 January. Nga mapungo vono re nukwa ruwa and uri kampani nda ndina yo yo very owa. Nga mapungo anzi problemu zimuwe wuzi zazi union. University. And Sample. Yeah, now Getty is now taking a sample. She's getting it the proper balance by stirring the water. Yeah. Do you know the type of water you are dealing with? So you have to protect yourself all the time. A bridge. Yeah. Bridge. We have the petrol of the mountain tane. Uzrama should never never see when I was long and go move or stay in the university. So, you know, half and the Zindus never to Rakazo are much today. Dinging a man. The one about to wait or when I taizo. Yeah, I mean, I'm by a surge. So, no recording is a man that's a university in a much today near our water and sanitation. Hooray! sanitation systems Things like this, Adisha, for health arena, like Rekalwala, because of Mizama Soki, or the toilet on the Tanji, the way clean. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Only clean, or over healthy, or over productive, or the Raloja school, or on over a shop, and all that. Womra would be Dimutra and never go no Darucheza, and the way I will come to Moon and Moon. Nendo Rally, a womb funded as to Zunjib Kum. Lobandisa Trovana Zangare Rongamanda, Gazi to the sanitation, Namadi, Urizina and Deme Ugumagai, Naurizina Umachero Ugumagai. If you've never heard of walkie talkies before, then today is the day you're going to. This dish is very popular in so many communities and Alsi Johanna has been making it for many years. We visited her in the backwaters of rural Mpopo and got to learn her recipe. Mm -hmm. Kitula ga malathela le mphupo province a ke ya go lela mo ga malathela 
Rafael <laughs> Five minutes or
Rabu Bujil, Raja du Boulet de Raviam, Redot sur la Maga, Gouvia le Gav pour Rob, Pongara Fedja Yaziou. Ayan Diana, Gouverno Reva Tomagi Toma ou Rolabam Ponchao, Vialet ou Rodio Gabi. Jadiletti. Our trip down memory lane this week is to meet South Africa's Dr. Doolittle who is also well known all over the world. Brian Jones has been working with animals for most of his life. We got to spend time in Hoodsprecht, getting to see firsthand what he does. What I'd love to leave behind that people can see, there is a creator who put all this together and there was a purpose and a system behind everything. And everything had a role. Every had a purpose, but we've come with our intellectual intellect instead of just by faith that have ruined it. Like one of the bird calls. Brian Jones is definitely somebody to look up to for anybody that's in conservation. I think we can never stop learning from Brian. His knowledge is amazing. My career was in the bush. Unfortunately, I was dyslexic. Never passed anything at school. Every year they just put me up, put me up, put me up. I couldn't understand what was going on. I never knew of such thing as dyslexic then. And that was my whole background. And then um, I was applying to Tanzania and Rhodesia for jobs as a ranger, but all had to have degrees, had to have degrees. And eventually I just wrote a letter to the director, said, you guys have got degrees and all that you know, the difference between a Sunni and a Stienbock. Or, you know, what's going on? And I showed them photos of my... And then they interviewed me and I was the youngest, most uneducated guy ever employed in the top box. <laughs> He opens your eyes to look at an animal totally different and um, asking questions. Why is he particularly doing that? But um, most importantly is that he's got this natural ability to, to save animals. That was like the end for them. And, and, and he was just the, the right person at the right time where that animal could get into his life and he managed to turn their lives around. When I started the box board, um, I moved my wife into a mud hut. No electricity, no bathroom, no toilet, no fridge, nothing. She cooked all her meals on the fire. The river was a Tamawati River for water. The toilet was, I'd dig a hole, and that's it, protect with a rifle, and cover up, and that was it. Then we got Worldy, got 44 gallon drums, top, cut the top off, put uh, the drum on, on, on rocks, got water from the Tamawati River, until my wife started the fire about four o'clock while I'm on patrol, come back, we both jump in our drums naked, no one's around us. You know, so you can imagine if people drove in and saw this drum on fire and two heads popping out, but that's how we lived. And then animals started coming in, you know, and um, all sorts of things. And then that's when we moved here. And then we, of course, we had in here white rhino, black rhino, brown hyena, spotted hyena, leopard, cheetah, lion, all in the house, sleeping in the bed. Uh, the hippo would come and take over the whole show. It's, that's how we lived and we had to be careful where we walked and where we walked was there were landmines all over the place. The hyena would chew the shoes up, the zebras ate the, zebra, the, the curtains. The leopard would knock granny's ornaments off for hundreds of years old and play with the pieces in the ground. And my wife still loves me. Isn't that amazing? the 
this time to tell the people we don't know looking for animals. These animals come to us and we treat it and die. See, so it's not a museum where you go and collect animals for a museum, not where you get away from that. You know, people don't get warm by a painted fire. And it's good to have an intellectual speech with your words in the right place, which I can't do. My grammar, my English, all my languages is not very good. So people don't get warm by that. So I thought, let's see hands on. The animals that had only struck me later in life, these animals that are injured, that I've treated, that have died, let me have them preserved and let people come and see. This was a hyena caught in a snare, not a picture. There he really is hiding with the wire still around here. This is a leopard caught in a snare in a gin trap. So these are poison vultures as they were poisoned, lying. As you see them lying, this is how they were lying. So together with that, with a few pictures, we try and show the people, let them realize that, wow, I didn't know people are shooting rhino. That's new to me. I didn't know they were poisoning. My goodness me, what's going on? You're South African? First year, are you South African and you didn't know that? Where's your concern for wildlife? Why had him? And it's full of maggots there. So we couldn't put him back because the bone had broken, you see. Wow. So he's still alive? He was still alive, but now. We had to dart him, we put him down, we inject him to put him to sleep. Wow. Sad. I've been a guide now for 20 years in the Kruger National Park area. You never get that close to the, to the bird life or to the animal life. Now we can actually come and see them, those little lines and, and, and paintings on the face or on the body. That's an incredible opportunity. And to understand, because every single part you see on an animal, there's a reason for that. So I want to know why is it there. And he has given me that curiosity as well. Dedicating one's life to a cause such as animals is admirable. And we can only thank people like Brian for all they've done over these years. In the words of that legendary TV personality from Shanana, who I'm sure many of you can still remember, it's time to go. But we'll be back again, same time, next week, with some awesome stories. Thank you for tuning in. Salani Kashleh.